Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to continue to get uh, practice with the dot product by solving this problem. I realize it looks a little bit ugly. I'll walk you through it, but really it fundamentally is the same thing that we did in the last problem. So if you haven't already watched the last problem, do that now. Um, basically what we have is a structure in three dimensional space. These black lines, you can kind of think of them as pipes or some kind of structure, rigid structure like a wooden structure or pipes. You have this guy going up, the height of it is two meters. We have it sectioned into two pieces because in the center at the one meter height mark, we have another piece of pipe coming out three meters and then another piece jutting out backwards uh, into the board, into the negative x direction, one and a half meters. We have all of the points labeled A, B, C, D, and O. O is for the origin. All right, now, so we have this pipe here, pipe here, pipe here. Now at the tip of A, we have a piece of rope, which I actually forgot to label. So I'll just put this in pink rope. And this rope is kind of being pulled from A up into the D direction here, and it's being pulled with a force of 56 newtons. So basically we have this elaborate structure in three-dimensional space. We have a piece of rope attached to A, and we're pulling on it in this direction with 56 newtons of force. That's pretty simple now that I've explained it to you. Now what we want to do is we want to find the magnitude of this force F that lies parallel and perpendicular to the line defined by AO. Now A is over here and O is over here, so if you look carefully I have a faint dotted line that connects these two. Now keep in mind this is a three-dimensional problem. So if you were to actually build this, you have a pipe sticking up, pipe sticking out, pipe sticking into the board, and then the line that I really care about is, is going from way over here off backwards to the origin. So the, the point A is into the board and O is at the origin. So it's quite a complicated looking three-dimensional problem. This is probably one of the most complicated type of dot product problems you might do. It's only because of the three-dimensional nature. But I want you to remember that no matter how complicated the problem looks, fundamentally all you're doing is the same thing. We want to find the magnitude of F uh, that lies parallel to this line AO. And then we need to find the perpendicular component. We'll get to that part later. But for now, let's focus on finding the component parallel. Previous to now, I've, you know, if you think about the last problem, I have said, hey, what is the component of that vertical force along the line A? It's the same problem. It's just that the line we care about is in free space in three dimensions that goes between these two points, and the force that we care about is in three dimensions that goes between these points. So fundamentally, we're going to perform the same calculation, but we have to first find vector F in three dimensions, and then we have to find vector AO in three dimensions, and unit vector in that direction, and then we'll be dotting them together to find out how much of this force F actually lies in that direction AO. So fundamentally, all the calculations are the same. We have a few steps to do ahead of time because these vectors aren't given to us so easily like they were before. So um, if you think about it, fundamentally if we want to find vector um, f, which we definitely want to do, we want to find vector f, then we need to figure out how to do that. Now we know the vector is pointed this way, we know the starting point is a, the ending point is d, so how do we find that? Well it'll be the magnitude of f times some unit vector in the f direction. In that when I say unit vector in the f direction, I mean basically going from a to d like this. Okay. Now, um, the point a, if you look here, if you look at the components of it, in the x direction it's negative 1.5. In the y direction, which will be, um, the y direction will be this guy right here, it's 3. And the z direction, we're going up and if you look at the way everything's 